Bip, 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 bip. There's been bugs like that in the past. I'm sure they'll fix it, figure it out, and get it worked out. Alright, we gotta place all these machines. Oh, I was gonna, I meant to count up while the music was playing some stuff. I meant to count things. Alright, I'm gonna do some quick um, spreadsheeting here. Equals min this and that. Close parentheses. Copy paste equals sum seventy eight. Oh, okay, that's less than I thought. So we need eighty assemblers in here, not counting Nobelisk stuff and the rifle ammo. I think there was a step. I think it was up there. I, I placed them down. Let me run up there real quick. We're going to start hooking all this stuff together with the belts today. And uh, attaching it to the, the ore nose and stuff. Get it up and running. Uh, I'll have to do a lot of... I've got to set all the recipes and run all the belts. All the splitters and mergers. And set up all the wire poles and stuff. Look at that, wow. Jumpy jump. Did I lower the music volume compared to pre I guess not. I just sort of play it by ear. It's, uh, it's... Does it sound too loud? I, yeah, maybe I lowered it a little bit. I don't know. Maybe. Maybe not. Oh, was, I want to switch... Um, this is the... Uh, this is too much webs. This is going to be too many webs. Let's switch over to this. Okay, um, so about 80 assemblers got to go on those three floors. I made sure that um, I ended up, I was going to be two floors at, at first, but that's not enough space, so I lowered everything so we got three floors, and the skyfish doesn't, um, well, nothing in his path. We need to make some black powder. Turn it into this. Steel pipes. This is a refinery. And I haven't unlocked this one yet, but it'll be in an assembler. And I suppose... Let's see, this is coal and sulfur, right? So, steel is running through like that floor. So, there'll be coal there anyway. And then the steel pipes will be there too. So, I guess we'll just run all that. Try to keep all the assemblers aside from the project stuff. The, uh, these things, the the uh, space elevator project stuff. Oops. Try to keep all that in one spot. Fifteen per minute. 
30 black powder per minute. 10 per minute. 10 per minute is like super overkill. Really, I just need one. There's no way I'm going to use 10 per minute ever. Yeah, so we can just probably just have one of each. We don't need to scale that up. I don't think black powder is really used for anything else. Let me check. Uh, also to make smokeless powder. Which we need to make some other ammo type stuff for the rifle ammo. But that's kind of the same thing. Um, I might be extravagant and make two or something. But this, this will not need to take up much space. So I, I don't need to really worry about it. We just need to fit everything else. I am the king of everything. Heat sinks also kind of minor because that's... Uh, the aluminum's gonna... All the aluminum crap's gonna be in its own area, so this might even be... somewhere else as well. Name that movie. I'm the king of everything. Heat sinks. Aluminum sheets and copper sheets. I suppose that could just be somewhere else. Probably will be. Probably just be with the aluminum. In the aluminum area. And I'll just bring over the copper sheets. So I guess we could even... Cut these out of here as well. Which would be... It's like eight less. So we only need like 70-ish there if we don't put the heat sinks there. Since aluminum is kind of its own thing. Ah. Mm -mm. Everything else, I think, sort of goes in that spot. How do I get down? How do I get up here? Right here. This is rotor, motor, and stoger. Now how do I get down? How do I get up here? How did I? Oh, right, that. Okay. And then beneath here. Oh, and that's it. Okay, and I've deconstructed everything else. All right, fine. Okie doke. Okay, so if we start at the bottom, it's going to do, I think, reinforced iron plates into modular frames with the, the iron stuff on the bottom there. Doop, 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 doop. Oh, you know what? I might want... Well, I guess we can deconstruct the stuff up there when I run out of materials to build more assemblers. Okay, 11 and 18. Um, I left a gap here. 
Let's just see if that gap is going to work. that put a little extra room here for the so we gotta route two belts through that burp, burp, burp. Beep, boop, burp. that's 10. for the modular frames. They still don't have a blueprint system? They do. Um, I just unlocked it. I haven't started using it yet. It's a bit different from Factorio, if that's what you're used to. It's got a limited size. you got to design them inside um, this thing. Uh, I just haven't really messed with it yet. We'll, we'll mess with it once I get this phase done. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. I need one more. Alright, so we're sort of out of space here, so I guess we'll go the other direction. I did leave this... alright. Oh, Zoop me, please. I did leave a... biggish gap, but it's, I guess it's not that big. Why does that look uneven? Go. I'm gonna go see what that's about. Hey, Stider. Wee. Sometimes this works. Sometimes it doesn't work. I don't know why. Ah. Okay. Because so just because this one sticks out for it. That's all. Doop, 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 doop. Okay, well, just say uh, this is the uh, the edge or whatever. Took a break from my Project Zomboid streams. Whoa. I wish they would hurry up and release the next build, and I would be streaming it more. Spoilers, my character dies. <laughs> it's kind of... Not really a spoiler. This is how you died, it says when you start the game. The updates are slow. It Yeah, they are slow, but I mean, this next update is going to be huge. The By far the most significant update in the game's history. Both for like 
gameplay wise and also like graphically. One, two, three, four, five, six. Okay. That deer. The new view cone. Yeah, a lot of the new like graphical optimizations are going to be great for w walking around with like thousands of zombies walking around with you. Did I just reach the end of this? Oh, I reached the end of this playlist. They were all short little videos. Each one's like one song, three minutes. Blood decals too. I haven't. I don't remember if I read any update about that, but that'd be good. It it does sort of. It's. A, I don't know. You sort of get used to it after a little bit, but when you first turn off the blood decals, it breaks immersion a little bit. Let's uh, label this. Those are plates. This is... Boxes. Uh, let's skip it. There. Boop, 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 boop. All right, that fit. Uh, that fit well enough into the space. So I guess I'll like just extend them all. One more tile. I can't wait to start fiddling with lights. It's so dark. Okay, so we still need rotor, motor, stoder, encased industrial beam, AI limiter, circuit board. I guess we're not gonna do heat sinks. And then I'll have to find a place to squeeze in the nobilisk and rifle ammo things. I have a flashlight, yeah, uh, that's true. I just don't, I uh, find it a bit underwhelming. It's true, I, I usually forget it, it exists, but I'll turn it on just for you, okay? Do, 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 do. I wish, because I think the problem with the blood uh, decals is that they're all individual sprites that just overlap, and you end up with a bazillion overlapping sprites. I wonder if, if there's not just a simple way to, like, compress them into a new image. So it's like if all those sprites become one sprite again. Periodically, you just do a cleanup and compress the sprites.
Rotor, motor, stoter, encased industrial beam. Let me, um... Build one of these so I can look at those recipes. I remember I looked at them and I was gonna... Do it in a certain way. Pipes. Yeah, rotor is rods and screws. Okay, so... Rods and screws are those two. No, no, no. Rods and screws are that one and... That one. That's iron plates. Rods and screws are those two. Rotor. Rotor. Stoder. The pipes are there. But doop doop That's the two. Steel. Concrete. Concrete's above here. We just did these two. Uh, we're not doing these here. Because those are temporary things. AI limiter uses... The caterium is on the other side. The copper's on the other side. And circuit... Oh, I guess I don't have circuit boards yet. Circuit boards are Mardu. Thanks for subscribing for 88 months. Oh, you know, I've got it written down right here on my stupid spreadsheet. Circuit boards are copper sheet and plastic. Oh, yeah, I don't have plastic yet either. All right. All the oil stuff, all the refineries is going to go in this big open space. So I guess the logical next thing to do... Probably the rotor motor stoter. Ooh, uh-oh. Uh-uh. The encased industrial beams. Steel beam and concrete. Where did the concrete end up? Steel beams is up here. Towards the top. Yeah, alright, so I guess we'll do... We'll, we'll figure out the route. I'm just trying to make the, the belt routing as... Straightforward as possible, but there's gonna be some... So, sometimes... Belts. I'm gonna belt. Uh, Steiner, thanks for the sub for four months. Thanks. I think I gotta go deconstruct those to get... I'm gonna run out of rotors myself. Yeah, let's go de... Look at my inventory. Pathetic. Let's go do that. Oh. Night seems to last longer there than in the area right next to it. Where's my... Here it is. My ramp.
Okay, easy peasy. But only building, well, actually building might get uh, quite a bit easier once I start getting familiar with the blueprint stuff. Deconstructing things will get easier too, because you can now deconstruct by, uh, by blueprint block. You can set your deconstructor to deconstruct blueprints. Do, 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 do. Maybe I just get rid of all this crap. We don't need. I set it out here, so I could see it all at once to see how, like, an overall idea how much space all the machines would take up. But also to make sure I had the materials to build everything, which I do. We don't need this up here anymore. If my inventory can hold it, because I've built everything else. This is the kind of game you like watching, but never play. I guess everybody kind of has that. There's definitely games I like watching and I, I would never touch with a... Like speedrun games, I have no interest in speedrunning, but... I like watching speedrunning, I just don't like doing it, because it's boring! It's, it's fun to watch, like, every once in a while. It's not fun to do over and over and over and over again. Oh no! Oh no! How is this game early access when it's been out for two years? The term means nothing. Uh, the, it's definitely a... The term, yeah, I agree. The term is definitely a... More often than not, a marketing gimmick. Uh, it has been getting regular updates, though. I, I, I think it might just be more... Uh, I, they do have a like a final form in mind for this game. But I think it's probably would be more honest to just label things as continual development or here's the game, it's done. But I don't I, I don't know. Some games work well with the term early access. It's just sort of there's a lot there's a lot of games that take advantage of it, I guess. Oop, don't fall off again. I mean, this is update eight. It's not like nothing has changed over eight days. Yeah, seven days. To, I was actually watching somebody play Seven Days to Die yesterday, maybe, because I hadn't seen it in a long time. I was like, oh, this looks a little bit better than I tried it once years ago. I was like, this game looks so ugly. Like everything about it, the UI, the like the textures, it just looked horrible. I, I was like, I, I don't want to play this game. It, it and it wasn't like charming ugly. It was just ugly ugly. If it was charming ugly, I could maybe get past it. But ugly ugly, can't get past that. But yeah, I don't know. How does that game still consider itself in alpha? It's kind of bizarre. Ooh, hold the ground. I may, I may try that game again at some point, because it does look better than it used to. I don't know if people are playing it modded out the wazoo, or if it's just gotten better. I might get bored with it, I don't know, because I haven't actually played it, but it, does, it doesn't look as bad as it used to.
Auto save. Okay, don't you can wait till you're off the orange bit, then deconstruct. There you go. Okay, so all that's out of the way. The horrible late game. Yeah, so I have, I have no real knowledge of that. I know that people. I, my impression is that once people know the game well enough, it becomes trivially easily easy. Uh, I don't know what methods you can use with game settings or whatever to make it harder. I just know that it doesn't look as bad as it used to. So I might give it a try at one point. Your base isn't trying to kill you. Yeah, you're doing something wrong. Exactly. That's, uh... Yeah, that's an important, uh, that's a words to live by. Okay, this is router. Router. Okay, so this will need to... I'll probably just... Because this one and the other one are going down for the motors. So I'll probably just pass this belt just to, like, have it go up above the motor and then split them both to do the... Or the, uh, the stator. Split them both to do the motor. So I don't need a huge gap here. Because this is not going anywhere. So I can just have it be here. Beep, 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 beep. Mm, stay tour. 12. Okay, and then just four motors. Motor, rotor, stoder, motor, rotor, motor, 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 stoder, motor. All this to just, well, okay, my starter base is gonna be different from other people's 
starter bases. By starter base, uh, I consider everything until you've unlocked everything. That's the early game. Or maybe the early and mid game, whatever. Something like that. Maybe the, the mid game will be building my gigantic nuclear power plant, and then the end game is going to be making the actual base. So this base is uh, going to unlock everything, which you don't need something this big for that. But more importantly, it's going to build all this stuff to build everything else. So I need something to spit out 100 plus nuclear reactors and all that kind of crap, you know? I just need four of these. So, rotor and motor are coming right through here. I'll need to split both, and then they gotta go this way. Uh, I don't know how much space I need for that, so let's just give it... And there's not really space to put anything else in here, so I guess it doesn't matter. If I put a little extra space. Did you see the devs stream? Which one? Um, I haven't watched a dev stream recently. They've all, uh, maybe I watched a little bit of it at, for update eight, like the initial stream. They're all on vacation now. I didn't think there had been one before there. Uh, I think I maybe watched, a, I don't remember exactly. I definitely didn't watch all of it. Yeah, so this this base is going to unlock everything, including all the cosmetic stuff. So, like, we're starting with just very basic platforms with the idea that we're going to bling it up after I actually have some cosmetic options from uh, the, the awesome shop. Motor... My eyes always skip right over it. There it is. Okay, so that takes up that floor. So we still have AI limiter, circuit board, encased industrial beam. Let me put some checks marks on my spreadsheets. Rotor, motor, stoder. We need encased industrial beam. AI limiter, circuit board. Sit. That's it. On this floor. Through this. Skyfish approaches. What's the, what's the factory going to be building as an end product? Everything. Uh, it's going to be making me stuff to make the real factory. So it's sort of a generalist factory. It's going to be making me literally concrete, iron plate, iron rod, screw, wire, cable, copper sheet, quick wire, quartz crystal, biofuel. Not really biofuel. Uh, steel beam, steel pipe, reinforced iron plate, modular frame, rotor, stoder, motor, encased industrial beam, heavy modular frame, circuit boards, computers, plastic, rubber, aluminum casing, aluminum sheets, radio control units, cooling systems, electromagnetic control rods, fuse modular frames, turbo motors, AI limiters, crystal oscillators, high-speed connectors, and supercomputers. Uh, plus nobilisks and rifle ammo. That, that's entirely off the top of my head. I didn't just read that off a list. I promise. Okay, encased industrial beams is steel beam, concrete. Uh, 
We're still kind of... The rest of the stuff, I guess, is going to drop down. That's the... Um, these three are all the iron things. The base to build the base. Yeah, people like to say, um... Like, the mall. I don't like the term mall. So I, I try to find other ways to say things. It's like... Uh, you, who here has read The Hitchhiker's Guide to the Galaxy? This base is deep thought. There's a parallel. You've seen the movie. That's close enough. Okay, here's the steel. Where did I put the concrete? That's what these labels are handy for. Although it's hard to see them from a distance. That's all the quartz, caterium. It must be... Maybe it's, maybe it's down here. This one? Yeah, I bet it's this one. Concrete. Okay, concrete right there. This, is, this must be steel beams and steel pipes above. Steel pipes takes more space. Oh no! Still beam, still pipe above, okay. Am I planning to play Baldur's Gate? Yeah, I never really finished the second one, didn't I? On stream, anyway. I mean, I've played them many times over the years. I was hoping to get to Baldur's Gate 3, otherwise known as Throne of Bale, uh, but people just don't really like watching those games. It, it was by far the, like, the least viewed thing I've ever done. So I don't know if we'll ever get back to back to Baldur's Gate 2 to get to Baldur's Gate 3. Uh, if you're talking about that other game coming out, also for some weird reason called Baldur's Gate 3 that looks nothing, feels nothing like Baldur's Gate at all? Maybe. I'm not sure. Okay, this is just steel pipes. Okay, so in case industrial beam is steel beam and concrete. This is the this is concrete and steel beams right behind it. So these two are gonna make encased industrial beams. Ooh, you really like yeah, I mean there are a few people that really like them. You know, I would be way more interested in that game if they called it anything else. I just find oh, this is is that right? Oh yeah, that's right. I don't mind that it's set in Baldur's Gate. They keep making a big deal about... Yeah, it's got the city of Baldur's Gate. People want the city of Baldur's Gate in, in a Baldur's Gate game. That's what the game's all about, and... Dude, did you, have you ever played Baldur's Gate 2? Baldur's Gate is not in Baldur's Gate 2. We only need... Okay, this won't take up that much space. Circuit board is copper sheet and plastic. Plastic gonna be over there. I got... Oh, we'll make it work. It doesn't matter. Um, I ha I know their, uh, their role-playing games. What's, um... What's their games? Divinity? Is that the one? Divine Divinity? I never did play them. They looked cool. I like the, uh, the... I know they're turn based. I never did play them. I know people like them. Um, I don't have anything against their games or anything like that. I just sort of a little bit annoyed that they're calling their game Baldur's Gate 3 is all. When it's like... Completely... Completely unrelated to the development team that made those games. Encased industrial beam. Like the Forgotten Realms is an existing setting, and like being in Baldur's Gate, it's like the Baldur's Gate games don't have a exclusive hold on the city Baldur's Gate. So putting their like even putting the name Baldur's Gate in their game title would be fine, but like pretending like it's part of this series, it feels manipulative, I guess. Divinity Original Sin. Oh, that's it.
Do 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 do. Encased industrial beams. So we can only really support this many because of how many steel beams we're making. 24 minute. Okay, so next. Um, it is coming out. When is it coming out? I need to like actually write down some release dates or something to be ready for some things. I know it's in early access, but like the full version. If it conflicts with Armored Core, I will pick Armored Core. Okay, this will be circuit board. I choose you, circuit board. Divine Divinity was two thousand. Oh, okay. It's, it's kind of close to that. No, this is going to be AI... Li Did I say circuit board? This is an AI limiter. Because the circuit board is going to have plastic coming from here, so it can be sort of at the end. I think. We'll be fine. Although... I, I don't know. I'm assuming they're going to release on PC concurrently with the consoles for the Armored Core. I've never played an Armored Core on the computer. It's all been consoles in the past. But I don't really have consoles anymore. Not new ones, anyway. Okay, then we just need a space for the circuits. Swicked void. Swicked. Swicked void. We need to remember to put all the recipes before I do the belt stuff, because that's a lot easier to do when you don't have to jump over all the belts and splitters and things. Alright, circuit board. So, uh, we still need the black powder stuff, which and we don't need very much space for that at all. And one of them, for the rifle ammo, requires a refinery. All the refineries are going in this big open space over here. So I guess that works out. This one, this is circuit board, needs plastic, which I don't have this yet. So I guess that works out that they both pull from refineries. Okay, and the black powder. Hmm. Sulfur. Let me look at sulfur. Yeah. 
used to make black powder and sulfuric acid. We're not making alternate recipes here, so we don't care about batteries. Do I need sulfuric acid in this base? We need that for the nuclear power, but I'll make it there, not here. So the only real thing I might make is batteries. Which, uh... I don't know that we really need that. Magnetic, oh, we need it for project part, magnetic field generator. Yeah, all right, I guess we will. Okay. I just need to... I was thinking, like, if the sulfur only needs to go here, it could be a dead end, but it'll have to... We'll have to go further. Okay, um, so this will be, if I even have the recipes, we need to have black powder. And then that needs to, we also need to make, from that, I don't know if it would be, probably not this close. But we, we have a little bit extra space here. We only need a few machines. So I can move stuff later. Uh, steel pipes. And that makes Nobelisk. That'll go into storage. We need to make the ammo, which I don't have the rest before. We need to make... The... I forget, the smokeless whatever, which is in a refinery, which will be over there. So, so I think that's that. All right. And uh, whatever. Good. That's all of those. That used that space pretty well. Needed all three floors, used all three floors. Pretty much the entirety of all three floors, almost. Woo! There. Okay. Save. Assemblers placed. Boop. Fish. Did I see the last resub? Moopin? Oh, uh, no. Oh, I see. For 69 months. Thanks, Moopin. Cue the, the nice parade. Nice, 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 nice. Okay, so now we set all the recipes. And then I can connect up all the individual groups with their splitters and mergers. And then we start rout routing belts from the ore patches. And then we'll have a lot of items coming through a lot faster than before, and I can sink some of it into an awesome sink to get some more tickets, to unlock some more things. Gotta think about how I want to hook up all the power, too. Because I'm gonna re all these platforms are gonna get replaced, and I don't know, like, a lot of times putting your power on the roof is convenient, but I don't know if roof is going to be that thick. I might use a thicker foundation or a, a variety of different shapes. Alright, let's go copy-paste recipes. Encased industrial beam. The, um, the range for this is really short, which is sort of 
makes it annoying to use. I guess it'll be better once I can use once we start using blueprints. I won't have to copy paste like this. AI limiter. This is circuit board, I think. I don't have circuit boards. Okay, I guess we're not pasting that. Rotor motor stoter, right? is Stoder. This is Motor. GG. This is, uh, this is the modular frames, I remember. And then we connect everything up with tier one belts to make it easy. And then later I just upgrade in place with whatever is appropriate. Reinforce on plate. Okay, assembler's done. My fingers have oh, all that copy pasting. My fr okay, I forgot how to play. There we go. How do I wait? Sprint. Here we go. <laughs> like my fingers literally forgot what buttons to press. Start at the tap. This is not the tap. Let's start at the top, just to make sure I don't forget something. Steel ingot. Easy peasy. It's the only recipe available. This is not labeled. Oh, okay, that's because it's all one block. Pipe. Pipe. This is concrete. Doop, 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 doop. Copy, paste, copy, paste. Actually, just paste, 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 paste.
So this one is Steel Beam. It's like I got this crap memorized. Don't even, don't even have to look at the reference. Steel Ingot. Only option. Getting dizzy. Screw one of these up? No. It's gonna be iron ingots into rods. Boom. Iron ingot. I guess we'll... Oh, this is different. Uh... If any of these are set up wrong, it should become apparent because the wrong thing's going to be on the belts. Or the light's going to be the wrong color. Once everything's operational. Hey, Hagen Hockey. Please don't get confused again. I won't. I never do. I just copied this. It's fine. Oh, it's Wolfie. What? How many animals are you going to be? You think you just pick a new animal whenever you feel like it? Who gave you that sword? I didn't even notice the sword. Maybe I sh should have, uh, that should have clued me into something. Okay, this is. What is this? Screws, I think. No. Plates. Screws are bottom floor, I guess. Alright. Iron ingot. 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 Plate. Plate. Iron plate. 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 This is screws. Somebody's got a screw loose. Not sure who. I already said one of them. Oh, did I set all of these already? And then I was like, I should wait to do this. I think so. They make you change or did you want to change? I don't know why they'd make you. Oh, 
Okay. Uh, Katerium ingot into quick wire, I think. Yep. Paste, 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 paste. This right here is motivation to start using the blueprints. This is tedious. Quartz crystals. Quartz crystals. And this must be silica. Almost done. Didn't take that long, I guess. I don't get the same satisfaction. That's true. I gotta soak up that satisfaction. Sheets. Oop. Copper ingot. 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 Then I can start doing splitters and mergers. Then we do all the sort of uh, all the local belts. Then we'll figure out the actual routing of the belts, which will be the only possibly remotely interesting thing in this whole stream. Copy. Paste. 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 Okay, so I need to make a whole hell of a lot. Mergers and spitters. Splitters? Spitter splitters? It's bottom floor, right? It should be. Yep. Alright, I'll start here, I guess. At least I've got the blade walkers. Without blade walkers, this is really a huge, annoying thing to do. Or blade runners, whatever they're called. Blade runners. Nobody walks in blade runners. That's why they're called blade runners. 
Wait, are they called Blade Runners? What are they called? Blade Runners. Oops. Wait a second. Screwed that up. Wasn't paying attention. Is this the starter, not starter, starter base? Yes. This, this gotta be merger. Splitter, merger. Okay, then on the edge, merger. Splitter. Just matter. Wait a second. Did I screw that up? No, I did not screw that up. Ingots. Yeah, ingots stop there. Okay, so I don't need a I don't need a splitter at the very end. Merger. Splitter. Do you feel the weight? Still seen exile. And sprint the gap like a Mario. It's a me. Oh, okay, maybe not. Ugh. Probably only the smelters, though. This is going to be too far apart. Blink flashlight. That's what you do when it's dark. Get your flashlight. These the face in the wrong way. No. When I put on that, it okay. It's shifting the wrong way for some reason. I'm gonna try to stack it.
Oh, that's already the instructor. Okay, this is quick wire. Like that. I guess I'll go all the way down the middle. Quartz crystals. Okay, that's the end of the Tyrium Ore. This needs to be Merger. Oh, you know what? I don't need a merger on the first one. Nothing to merge with. Oh, I wonder if any of the other floors have extra machines. Okay, so I can get rid of that. And this. Probably just counts for these because they're they've only got the one step. All these other others are two step ingot to other thing. Okay, but that's that entire side done. Merge those two. It's going to be an odd one out here, I guess. Probably. Merge. Split. Okay, and then all these have two, so I gotta figure out the spacing again. Do 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 is probably not this is probably too close. Let's say oh wait, not that one, these ones. This the boundaries. Okay, so it's probably not the center. Let's go one click over. Uh 
Uh huh. That should work. like that. Oh, that's not, uh, doesn't line up at all. Either one works, it just more like a cosmetic thing. Oh, okay, this one does, never mind, this one does not work. Okay, so that that's it. It's one click off from the center. Do, 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 do. Okay, so I'll go through. Um, what's the best way to do it? Oh, this is annoying. It's try. What, what did you try to... What are you connecting to? Ah, oh, it's annoying. Because this thing has three outputs, and it's staggered with the other machines. It's not giving me the... L there's the line. But that's... Yeah, okay, that is it. Okay, that's correct. Nope. Okay. I'll do all those, then I'll stack... Uh, one set. Delete the stuff. Doesn't help this is so dark. That definitely doesn't help. Alright, it's kind of, once I get the rhythm of it, it's not so bad. Just have to remember the spacing for all that stuff. Splitter. Gonna run out of cable in a minute. Uh, I guess we'll go down the middle first. Merger. Oh wait, hang on a second. That's not right. That's not right. I didn't get the line for this one, even though it's clearly lined up correctly. Oh, because it's facing the wrong direction. That's why I didn't get it. There we go. Yeah. That's why. It's facing the wrong way. OK. 
Okay, so that's all of the steel beams, I think. This is concrete, I think. Concrete. That's just prime. Slayer, thanks for the sub. Thank you, thank you. I have, I still have 100, that's 60, that's probably enough splitters to do this level, finished it, then we can get more stiff, we'll get some stiff, splitter, split this, I guess, wait a second, this is iron ore and coal ore. I suppose the iron ore doesn't need the last splitter, but the coal will need to move through. I was thinking we don't need the splitters at the very end. Uh, but I might actually need them. For, for the coal, anyway. So we can go make Nobelisks further down. We do these two. Merger. This is the steel. Where are we? This uh, steel beam, right?
Ok. Getting there. Oops. I forgot that entire floor somehow. How did I do that? I skipped an entire floor. I could have sworn I did that. The cable. Did I just do the middle? What the heck? No, I didn't do any of it. Oh. Huh. Alright. Last few weren't offset. Oh, and I deleted uh, the wrong thing here. That's cool. Cool, cool, cool. Oh, yeah, I see. Good eye. Good eye. Uh, uh, uh. Don't need concrete. We don't really need this right now. Uh, wire. Don't need that yet. Sheets. Don't need that. Need some iron plates. No, I got plenty of iron plates. Just need rods and cable, I guess. Yeah, just that. All right, we've been live. Oh man, it's, it hasn't even been two hours, but I feel like I need a break because this is like quite tedious crap that we're doing right now. Uh, let's do a let's do a stand up and stretch break. How about that? Then we'll finish the splitters and mergers, and we'll start connecting everything with belts. This is, uh, it's motivation to make good use out of blueprints, all this crap. Okay. Here's a little clip show. I'm gonna go get a snack. I'll be back in a few minutes. Laid out an area down here. Lots of RoboPorts ready to go. Time to sit back, let the robots do all the hard work. Have I made the dueling, dueling, dueling chairlifts yet? No, I haven't. I, I could have done it in this park, but I didn't start out with them. I only got them recently.
I still have yet to make that. I will, one day. And this is actually the right height to finish. All right, that's a hell of a long track. So I will make it one lap. There we go. Look at that craziness. Why do you make the go-karts so big? What do you mean they're not supposed to be? I can do anything I want. I make them so big because they're awesome. I mean, look at this setup. It's crazy. Seven coasters and seven coasters and a go karts in this screen. Montage music. Montage music. Montage music. Montage music. So, some time has passed, and I have now visited every single asteroid field in the game. There's probably time, right? We can just take a little slight detour and... Oh, it's been a while, and I've been kind of jonesing. Ooh. Ooh. Other selves, you are being entrusted with this serious task because of the nature of the working area. You will have no more than 90 seconds to solve this problem. Listen carefully to each of my instructions. This is the working area. We must clear the uranium. Take care not to stumble. Take care not to fall. You will need to move quickly, and you will need to move carefully. These are the most important 90 seconds of your life. Other selves, you are being entrusted with this serious task because of the nature of the working area. You will have no more than 90 seconds to solve this problem. Listen carefully to each of my instructions. This is the working area. We must clear the uranium. Take care not to stumble. Take care not to fall. You will need to move quickly and you will need to move carefully. These are the most important 90 seconds of your life. Whoa. Whoa. Oh. Wait. Hang on. Hey, it's Zisto. It's satisfactory. Buckle up, because today we're going for a ride. A ride, you say? That's right. We're going for a ride on a choo-choo train. <laughs> So, two out of the three areas we need to build for our turbo motor mega base, we've finished them. And so today we're going to connect them up with the rail network. We got to hook up this thing, which is supplied by all these things, and makes heat sinks to this thing, which is supplied by all these things, and makes supercomputers and quartz crystals. And with their powers combined, we shall finally be able to construct radio control units. So I think this is actually a good time to reorganize our base and to uh, start up. I guess it's going to be kind of like a main bus. We're going to have a lot of algae coming out of this thing. But we also want to scale up our algae for here. So why not combine them? We've also got this cellulose fiber guy here. We're going to have more over here. We need to basically strip up everything, which means that this island is going to get bigger. So to make a spaceship, we need to put down some spaceship flooring, add some spaceship walls, 
We need some form of propulsion. Right now, we use rocket engines. And we need a way to store the fuel, so we use a rocket tank. Every spaceship needs a spaceship console, some form of power. And we'll need a way to deal with asteroids as we're flying around, so for right now, that's going to be a laser turret. Oh, we can also put a door in here. Nice. So if we click on our spaceship console, we can check our current integrity. And this says we have a hull strength of 91 out of 300. Currently, I have not researched any spaceship integrity upgrades. This will allow us to make our spaceships bigger in the long run. So for right now, our very tiny ship is well within our limits. And we have a similar amount of container stress, which is four, if you haven't already guessed, containers. So if we add some containers and do another integrity check, that has gone up. So those are all the pieces required for a basic non-automated starship. Obviously, we can make this one about three times bigger and make it look a little bit cooler. Another thing we can do is we can rename our ship from whatever random name it gave us to begin with, and we can call it the, oh, I don't know, the USS Zisto Prize. Wait a second. Back up. We had the Zisto Prize A. Zisto Prize B. Zisto Prize C, which makes this the USS Zisto Prize D. Space. The final, final, final frontier. Still. These are the voyages of the starship Zisto Prize D, whose ongoing mission is to shoot asteroids, apparently. Captain's Log, star date, approximately episode 19. Two minutes, 49 seconds. I have a spaceship again, and since I'm the one piloting it, that makes me, once again, a captain. And so, ergo, ipso facto, I can once again make a captain. This side, stupid. I'll cross the fence for you. Oh. Yeah, still trip me. Get up. Are you kidding? Well, that's it. <laughs> that's how it goes. Welcome to Project Zomboid. Unlimited power! You got Thruster Suit 2, Jetpack 3, Adaptive Armor 4, Personal Roboport 2, Worker Cargo Size 3, Speed Module 5, 6, and 7, Rail Gun. I'm going to use my Super Spin Attack and just have it be done instantaneously. Ready? Ready? Here we go. Here we go. Ready? Here we go. Ready? Go. Hip, hip. Yep. Ready? Are you ready? Here we go. Yep. There we go. I'm getting better frames. All right, let's fight this guy. Yeah. Oh, I'm getting like 100 frames per second. Take that, buddy. Death by a thousand cuts. Oh, no. My guy. Uh, no. Okay, let's see if I can... Oh, I did it.
Maestro. Please play. You gonna play? What are you doing? Play the music. Hey, Marigaron. Make noise. 1997. There's no music. Okay, now I'm pissed off. Hey, we won, though! <laughs> dueling, dueling, dueling chairlifts. Company value of 43,000. Hooray! Victory Vortex, balloon release. It will be hard to top this park, I would say. Screenshot. Screen of course, it's raining when I win. to get up into the up into the base this seems it seems like oh it's such an effort just to climb but i was told to build vertically so we gotta we gotta go up we gotta get up there somehow you know My name to worn out. Center right there. Splitter. Splitter. Murder. Murder. Splitter. Splitter. Murder. Has anybody here, this is uh, unrelated to Satisfactory, has anybody here ever played Tome? The roguelike? Let's see, what is this? This is ingots, then it goes in there. Okay, no splitter there. Wait. No, one more.
And then one more. I can't see the arrows until I get... I know that's going to switch direction. I can't see the arrow until I get closer. It's throwing me off. You've heard of it. That doesn't help. Boo -doo -doo -boo -doo -doo -boo. Okay. Astronauts was that? Space salvage type game. Is it new? Is it like um Shipbreaker Hard Hard was it was that was that other salvage game called Shipbreak or something? So like that. Oh wait, don't need that there. Not new. It's a little like that, but more freedom. That would be good. The one thing I wanted from that game is for it to be more sandboxy. And to have bigger ships. Which apparently, I don't think ever happened. I think, I think it got less sandboxy. They put a stupid story on it. Bunch of jerks. Bunch of jerks. Alright. Okay, so then this floor. Wee. <clears throat> Looks like a colony sim. Oh, so it's not like a you're de scrapping stuff. It's like a colony, you tell the people what to do. Not right. Redo it. Not a colony sim. You salvage ships in an area to make money. Okay. <clears throat> I'll check it out.
Boo doo doo boo doo doo. You know, I bet after I actually start fiddling around with the blueprint stuff, I'm gonna look back on this and be like, why didn't you do that first? Too late now. I'm committed to get this stage done first. At least it's fairly mindless, this this part of it. The only really somewhat tricky bit is going to be routing all the all the belts from the ore patches. And then in between the different blocks. We'll take a little bit more thought. Future Z is gonna be like, past 10 Z, you're a goddamn idiot. Although past 10 Z will have already done all the hard work, so future 10 Z probably won't care. Ah! <laughs> Missed my floor. Splitter. So if it looks like, uh, if that Astronauts game looks like a colony sim, does that mean it's got an overhead perspective? Is it like isometric? So to speak. It is overhead. Hmm, I wonder if I've seen it before. In early access since 2020. What? I thought you said it was not a new game. That sounds pretty new. Three years old for early access is basically brand new. You lied to me. That means, if it's in early access, that means the release date is still in the future. It hasn't come out yet. Uh, the only reason I'm not using blueprints is because I haven't used them yet, ever. 
last time I played significantly, they didn't exist. And so I don't have like muscle memory of like how good they are yet. I don't have direct experience for how good they are. And I'm sure as I know what's going to happen as soon as I start using them, I'm going to be like, all this stuff you did before would have been easier. I mean, this is just the starter brace anyway, so... We, we have a lot of time to make use of the blueprints once I start making something of significant size. So this, like, little piddly starter base crap. Merger! Uh... Splitter. Okay, I think that's all the constructor stuff. We just have the assemblers left, and then I can start putting the belts in. Do 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 do. Okay, this spacing will be a little different, but the same idea with the stacked splitters. Uh, let's try here. That looks too close. Okay, so one off of the edge. If that worked, why did the other one not work? I guess it's, uh, I guess it's that finicky. That doesn't work. Oh yeah, that's the, that does work. Those look a little cramped though, you don't have the gasket on that side. We have space on this one to, uh, spread it out though, so I will. I want to look at the mod one that makes you lets you make big ones maybe um once i have well we'll see we'll see but once i have the ability once i get familiar with the uh a new system like the blueprints i my first thought would be to try to get as much out of that as possible before just jumping to a mod to to fix a problem that I might be able to fix with um, using the blueprints better. So, instead of having, for instance, one big blueprint for a thing I need, I would just like make a, a set of modular blueprints that would do the same thing.
Oops. This is the... Gunpowder stuff here. Th this stuff probably gonna move, so... This must be circuit board? Because I don't have the recipe? Yeah. <clears throat> so, um... This one on the end... These two. This stuff it might move around, so I'm just going to get rid of these. I'm not sure exactly where they're going to go yet. That's just sort of placeholder position. Everything else is fine. Beep, 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 beep. more floors. That's not right.
dun 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 Did I do that right? Nope. Try to try to go fast. Okay, one more floor. Then, then we start over and do a different thing. One more floor, then we're done. No, one more floor, then you do another tedious task over and over again. Where's my stairs? Don't need stairs. Oh, come on. This is just splitter ASMR right now. Why is there an odd number selected? Hmm, that's why.
Hey, Greyhound. Ran out of iron plates. Finally happened. We're, uh, we're almost done with the splitter merger phase, though. I can probably finish up since two-thirds of these get deleted. I hope. Oh, we might we might run out for the mergers down the middle. Has I ever considered using Squeak Through? Yeah, there's there is Squeak Through. Watch. See? Build right in. It's a feature, not a bug. called squeak under okay built them all I think I think that was it bottom floor uh oh that's fine There, I'll do a save. Go we'll get a bunch of iron plates. Okay, it's coming together. Ooh, almost ran off the edge. No! There's a whole section missing. We're not done. Damn it! <laughs> I should have known. this floor. I suppose I should double check that it's all finished. Mm -hmm.
Okay, so this floor is done. This floor looks done. That floor looks done. That floor looks done. Now it's done. Alright. Now we see. That was close. Almost didn't make that. location is pretty good it's definitely not the best location in the game visually but it's pretty good considering it's the best resource location to start That's one annoying thing about having the parachute on all the time is the, the little accidental times you trigger it when you're just hopping around on normal stuff. These are these are different. This is uh, quartz right here, so that they don't connect. Let's turn the flashlight on. Might help. A tiny, tiny little bit. It's kind of absurd out the re recommended beginner area. Yeah. Yeah, that is, uh, yeah. Th that's only a good area if, like, you're only going to play for literally two hours and then quit the game. Then it's a gr it's great. It is simpler to build, because it is wide open. Um, if there was just like... Like one or two, maybe even just like four copper nodes, or not copper, coal. One or two... Four coal nodes to make building there. So you could at least progress to the point where you get trucks. The only real good spot for the coal is where I ended up putting my first base ever, which is that, uh... I don't think I've been there on this character. It's the, um... Like a little oasis crater thing with a little, 
lake in the crater, whatever it is. So I guess it's not a crater, it's a... But it is like a sinkhole canyon kind of thing. It's got a good amount of coal, but it's the only spot there with it. And most new players aren't going to realize that, that they're going to need coal so badly. And there won't be any around. There's one on top of a hill. It's been a while since I built anything over there, so I don't remember exactly where that is. There's also, if you go down into that, like, um... Feels like a poison lagoon area. There's coal there, but it's kind of dangerous when you first start out because of all the monsters. But that's, that's kind of far away. That's not really in the, the grassy green area anymore. annoying. Yeah, and I can't place that. Oh, because of this bell. Do the same thing here. Oh, whoops, I forgot the, the important part. Make is a belt. Okay, that floor is done. Where am I even? I'm on the copper side. Two, I guess I started at the top, two floors down. Do-do-do. 
Okay, this goes there, I think. There's a few floors where the the production goes all the way down, and then a couple where it's like different um, different processes, different production lines on the same floor. I can barely see what I'm doing, even with my amazing flashlight. And that floor is done. It's just that easy. Three simple steps. I skipped one. Ooh. This floor is done. That's bottom floor. Uh oh. Ooh. <laughs> Parachute.
Okay, those down low at uh, stealing, it's that goes straight through. I think the floor below here has concrete, so that's like a separate production. Doesn't connect. these. Whoops. Let's do all the flat belts first. that or like this oh it's the same doesn't matter okay I sort of thought I would get the gasket wherever I start but I suppose not That's the concrete. Okay, this is one separate concrete. Concreto. I think my brain's gonna ooze out of my ears after doing this for several hours.
The belt sling the belt slinger. Ooh. Have I forgotten the face of my boundary or something? Oops. Do do do. Um. Yeah. Okay. Every once in a while, I gotta pause and like let my brain catch up. Like, what am I doing? Where am I? What's going on here? Then it goes back to autopilot. Belt. 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 Shoot. Should be a shortcut. If you have input and outputs directly aligned, you can press a button to automatically snap and build belts to and from. Or even like, yeah, I don't know, something like that. I, I guess that's kind of what the uh, blueprints are for, though. For that kind of thing. Same kind of function. Okay, this floor is done. That was the second steel floor. We got three iron floors. And then all the assemblers. And then this phase is done. And then we get to do something mildly more interesting. Incrementally more interesting. How to do that? <laughs> Connected to itself.
Parachute. Oh, we're gonna have to do another one of these little workarounds, right? Yep. Pasted. Turning it. Pasted. You could run a belt through a bunch of splitters, like just have one from one to the end. Pipes sort of work like that in reverse. Uh, I guess you can do it the same way with the uh, belts. You can place the uh, you can place the splitters and mergers after you have the belt down. I've always found that to be a little bit janky, though. Like I'm never really sure if I've done it properly and it's going to actually split or if it's not actually connected to the belt. So we do this instead. Spacebar, click, 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 click. Spacebar, tap W to go forward. Click, 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 click. Boop, boop, beep, boop, 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 boop. Messing up the splitters and mergers. Yeah, that can happen. I'll, what I end up doing is realizing I missed. Like, because I'm zooming by so fast and I'll really like. Not being super careful to make sure I did everything ex exactly right. Usually I'll find I missed one of these belts later, later on when we actually have stuff on the belts, things are getting made. I have to go back, double check. Oh, okay. Okay, don't jump off that, please. Oops, I gotta do the belt first. Uh, oh, again, once again, 
place the buff first. Someone needs a break. I just had a break like... Oh, it's been an hour and 20 minutes? <laughs> Darky Pilgrim, thanks for the sub. I'm doing fine. My brain is not oozing out of my ears. That's not what's happening. I think this is the last floor. No. Maybe not. Actually, I don't know. Last floor before the assemblers, anyway. The assemblers actually will be easier because they're bigger, so the spaces between them are larger, and there's fewer total machines. And like half, uh, one third of the connections are the, the belt lifts. Easy mode. music seems awfully disjointed. What's it doing? Is it like... Stings or something? It's not like one consistent song? It's really weird. Two favorite bits, redemption goals, people can give their folks. Hydration and posture check. Yep, I am, uh, my posture, yep, I'm fixing my posture. Yep, I'm hydrating, yep, sure, I'm doing those, I'm, I'm doing those things. Yay, another floor finished. Is there another one under here? No! Uh-oh. Okay, now just assemblers. Well, thank God. Oh my God. 
Blueprints, where are you? Uh, 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 uh. These, um, okay, I'm, yeah, I'm just gonna do individual blocks. These technically will link up because this one's gotta split and go over there, but I'm uh, just gonna do the individual blocks first. No funny business. even did I f I must have run out or forgot and then build the uh, finish the splitters over here whoops Oh, come on. It's mess. It's. I'm screwing up the connections more often because they're far enough apart that they can. Got all these other wacky options.
Okay, that floor is done, except for those at the end, which are kind of not unimportant right now. Uh, are we going up or down? Down. She said down. Woo, parachute. Uh, wait a second, wait a second, wait a second. This is, um... Motor rotor stoder floor. So this, this guts go up and above, down at the end, but I'm going to do that at the end. I'm going to do that later. Not worried about that right now. Okay, these are the motors. Motor. Rotor. Stoder. Used all the iron plates. Whew. This has been what three and a half hours now. What did we do at the beginning? Oh yeah, I placed the assemblers. That was pretty straightforward. But that didn't take that long, and ever since then it's just been click, 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 click. Second floor. 
No? Yeah. yeah. Do, 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 do. My uh, iron production has not been keeping up. That container was like... Hadn't filled up very much. Oops. Do, 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 do. Okay, one more floor. I might play the Tetris game or something after this just to relax for a second. It'll give me an aneurysm doing on this. Autosave complete. Or maybe I could try to visualize where the storage area is going to go. Haven't really done that. And where the uh, blueprint stuff's going to go. Haven't done that either. Excite bike. How? My brother has been holding hostage the NES we grew up with uh, since I, since we were kids. He refuses to part with it. Thinks it's his, not ours. Ridiculous. I'm a few years older, so I went off to college first, thinking, okay, when I get back, it'll still be here. So I went off to college and didn't take it. And then he went off to college and he took it. And never gave it back. The Nintendo and the Super Nintendo, and I'm going to be angry about that my entire life. Fun fact. It, it took not just the Nintendo, but the Nintendo and the Super Nintendo. I would be... I once proposed, like, all right, let me have one of them. I'll have the Nintendo or the Super Nintendo. I'll even let you pick. He was like, LOL, no.
do 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 That's just prime. <clears throat> uh, Liberia, thanks for the sub. That's just prime. Skullborn or Skullboon, thanks for the zip. I wonder if Optimus Primal says that's just Prime in the new movie. I haven't seen it yet. It's finished! What new movie? The new Transformers movie. With Optimus Primal in it. Because that's Optimus Primal's voice saying, that's just Prime, that was his catchphrase. that came out decades ago. A movie with Optimus Primal. Really. I don't expect much from it. I don't expect it to be good. None of them have been good. None of the live action ones. Some of them have been like been okay, have been okay to good in like, you know, for a scene or so. Yeah, some satisfying explosions. I'm I'm in no rush to go see it. Probably see it eventually. I don't know when. Maybe when it, if it comes to a streaming platform. Why does that look like there's quick wire there? You see that? Or like Atari Twenty Six Hundred quick wire. <laughs> what is that? Oh. That's that's this thing. Look like quick wire. Okay, so now I have the blocks belted. Good flame. Boop boop boop. Imagine a world where you could have blueprinted the whole setup. Yeah, I mean, true. We're okay. So, what are we on now? 
26 hours in this save. The amount of time we'll save in the long run with blueprints will will dwarf that, so I'm not too concerned, really. Hey, Ross. Okay, so now that all of the individual little sections are belted, we have to route all the belts from all the ore patches into all the the smelters and the foundries. And then we've got to connect all those products they're making to all the other places they're needed. All that, all those belts are going to end up with the actual products down there past the assemblers. Refineries are going to go in this big empty spot here. So we'll also have like plastic and rubber and st stuff like that. All that's going to end up down there. Then we'll have a storage area directly above here, I guess. It's got to be high enough up off the ground that the sky fish doesn't smack into it. Or pass through it, whatever. And then above that would be like manufacturers and blenders or whatever. Whatever's left. Do 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 do. I'd still need to do the. Um, we haven't hooked up any power. I suppose we could think about that. Um. That's maybe I think maybe I'm gonna wait a second to hook up the power because that's going to be just as grindy clicky as all the belts. We might think about the. I'm 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 a little bit. Um. What's it called? Overdosed. I'm a little bit OD'd on uh, conveyor belts for the moment. So maybe we'll fiddle with the where the storage might go. Also, I do have hyper tubes, so we could think about how I might be placing hyper tubes to get around. And there's going to be walkways in this big gap in the middle eventually. With stairs and stuff like that. Over there too. Uh, let's see what else needs to be done. I will need to expand the coal again. The coal power. Maybe the um, the most zen thing we can do right now is fiddle with the storage. I think I did unlock the bigger containers. I did. Boo doop doo doop doop doo doop. -doo. I guess if, okay, so ore goes in here, in the back, it's turned into ingots, turned into stuff, pipes, beams, plates, whatever, all that stuff going to end up filtering through the assembler area, They're probably going to get routed like off on that side, and anything need for, needed for the assemblers gets added to the assemblers and then passes back through out that side. It's gonna have a, like a pretty decent amount of belts over there going up, so I guess any kind of storage maybe should start on that side and then go this way. Oh, Skyfish is here. Let me get a, let me eyeball, see how high up we might need to be. These walls are sort of his path, more or less.
I'm gonna have to look at it again from the other perspective because he's diving. Uh, okay, so maybe like two or three. Oh, but then he's he, he climbs, climb, climb, climb. Hmm. Okay. Dips there. And he climbs. So I would need... And then he dips again. It would need to be kind of high up off the ground. I might... All these belts bundled over here. I suppose I could... Instead of having everything end up down there, it could end up here and go up. So a storage could be directly above all this constructor stuff. This could just be a, a bigger gap to accommodate... Is it getting dark again? Bigger gap to accommodate Skyfish over here. And then all the... Then we'd have room... Lots of room for all the... Manufacturers. Okay, so first thing... You know what? Uh, these are going to have roofs. I should put roofs over these. Let's do that first. Roofs. 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 It's okay, so these are three and a half in between. So we do seven between two. That's where the roof is. A Zenrim. Okay, here's the roof placeholder floor. Roof. Roof. Are you going to use power pole or wall outlet? Uh, I almost always prefer the wall outlet if I can manage to use it. So we will use the wall outlet on either walls or floors. But since um, the, the goal is to get the thing running and then use it to unlock stuff. Like, uh, you know, because the more complicated items you're sinking, the more points you get, more tickets you get. So once uh, I want to get the thing working, and then I can get a bunch of points quickly, a bunch of tickets, and we can unlock all the different building stuff, all the different uh, texture skins for the foundations, and all the different architectural stuff like the columns and the beams and different roof tiles and all that kind of crap. And then we come back through and we give it a makeover, a glow up. We glow up the starter base. And so, like these, this is not necessarily like the thickness of the, the ceiling. So if I put a power, a little uh, wall outlet on the ceiling, I don't want to have to move it later because the ceiling shape doesn't match up later. So I'm not sure what to do with the power actually. To make it, I mean, I could just have it be floating in the air, but I don't really want to do that either. But I think of something to do that will be, that I won't have to like tear and tear down entirely later. Used to watch the Mind Cracker. Welcome back uh, to the Mind Cracker.
Whoa. Remember when you had to place these things one by one? Oh my god. <laughs> so grindy. I mean, it's still grindy, but it has gotten a lot better. It's still grindy. It used to be way worse. Building ramps, yeah. Anything like oh that's right, that's right, that's right. Cause you couldn't um Oh damn, you're right. I forgot. Because you had to like place the ramp, then you had to place a rectangular foundation and then attach the next ramp to the rectangular so you were constantly like switching back and forth. Yeah, that was bad. Yeah, it was bad. Okay, we got the ceilings. Oh, careful there. All right, so if I make a storage doohickey, it's probably going to be above this guy because it's got to stretch pretty far. It's got a lot of things to store. So we need some kind of gap between this floor and the thing. I could just keep the, the same... Same gap. Could be up there. Hypothetically. Do I have another base making the materials? Yes. Um, yeah, I have a starter. This is the starter base. The starter starter base is making the stuff for this base. That's over there. In that little crammed into that little that little uh, ledge right over there is the starter starter base. The starter starter base gets the starter base running. The starter base gets the real base running. Um, let's go up there. That's Oh, that's really not very high anymore, is it? That used to be, like, way up in the air, didn't it? We're about to be above that. Um, it really doesn't matter how high I put the storage area. Most important thing is that it looks cool. We, I will eventually need to output stuff from the storage area to a, uh, like, train loading stations to send off to build the actual base stuff. Don't have I don't have that radar tower yet, do I? I don't think so. I just have a little lookout tower. I got a normal ladder, which can be useful, I guess. Powered oh that's right, I have one of these power towers. I haven't built one yet.
Du, du, du. Okay, so where is that train? I was thinking, well, we will need, before we make a, like a master train network to connect the whole world, we'll just have like a couple out and backs to go grab bauxite over there and uh, nitrogen over there. It's in. Thanks for the sub. Is it plagiarism a trooper? Yeah, it started a new game in the same location. No, uh, I'm certainly not the first person to start here. This is a popular starting spot. Okay, so one place, let's see, where would I load up a train? If I was going to load up a train with materials for building with, it would probably have to be a pretty big train to hold all the different things I want. Or I don't use a train for that, I just zip back and forth with um, uh, delivery cannon things. No, that's not what they are. Delivery cannon? That's space exploration. Um... Hypertube, that's the word. Kind of like a delivery cannon, delivers you. Me. Maybe I'll just use that. Instead of having the train carry stuff, because I'm always going to be needing different things. If I do set up a build train, it would need to be really big to hold all the different things I will need. Drones? I haven't used drones. I'm not sure exactly how they... I, I don't think they're supposed to be very good over distance, but I've never used them. Yeah, maybe I would just bounce myself around. So we're going to be, uh, this build is, the idea is to have, the, the actual, like, mega base is to be one big mega base. No distributed bases. Everything, just all the raw resources delivered there make everything in one spot. It's going to be ridiculous. It's probably going to break the game. And, like, I mean, like, my computer won't be able to run the game. So, like, setting up, it is a little fiddly, like, setting up, like, aiming the thing. But if I only have to go to one location most of the time, that won't be that big a deal. I will have to set up trains and, like, stuff in a variety of places. But still, I could probably, I, th I think, yeah, alright, maybe I'm not worried about a build train in this game. Except nuclear. Oh yeah, yeah, the nuclear will not be there. The nuclear power plant will be somewhere else. Because the radiation, I thought about it, but the radiation will just be too annoying in the long run. To constantly be dealing with the beep, 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 or whatever. I'm not sure where that's going to be. Nuclear power plant. Okay, so then, then, then I don't need belts coming out of the storage area, really, because I'm just going to access things myself. I guess that simplifies things quite a bit. So it could just be there. I don't have to worry about where the belts coming out of it are going. I was just thinking, like, do I build the train up here? Do I put it down there? And then the belt's got to go all the way down there, or all the way down to this plateau. This area is not flat at all, so it would be kind of annoying to put uh, some kind of train station there. It is flat on the bottom, but it's, it's a lot of vertical space to route all those belts. 
fish. Can't really tell from here, but it looks like this is high enough. That he's not gonna hit it. If I even though I put it all the way over there. Alright, what do I need for the it's uh steel pipe steel steel beam for the containers? Yeah. Let's go grab some of that. Save. Do 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 do. Okay, so either storage is directly above this open gap thing. No, I, I don't... No, that's not right. I think it would be directly above this section. I'll leave this gap. We'll continue this gap thing up through the base. Doop, boop, boop, doop, boop, boop, doop. Man, we're ascending vertically. We're already up to this thing. This uh, pillar, pillory do. It looks like a resource. I know that's not a resource. It looks like a resource node there. These things are a little bit more than a foundation wide. They're going to be up in there above me. We need like, it needs to be like three foundations. Bing bong, bing bong. Are we four hours in? Bling blong, bling blong. Do doop doop do 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 do. These things are they're gonna be like this and like that. But we're gonna need to do some like belt routing stuff. So it's gonna stick out a little bit more. So I guess we'll have this little bit extra platform for that. Unless I want it to do I wanna be Okay, let me go look over here. Let's go look over here. Oops. All the belts are going to be coming from this side, not this side. So I guess it could be up to the edge. Uh, let's build it and then I can always shift it. We can shift it. I do want to, I want to extend this platform before the, oh, he's here. Oh no. I want to see if. I can put this wherever, if this is like, uh, if he's going to clip into this or not. Fish! Slow down, fish. I'm not ready. Uh, 
Uh, looks good. No, oh, it's fine. He sort of like he he dives, he climbs up a bit, but then he dives again to fit between the ribs. Okay, never mind. I think it's fine. It'll work. So I can route the belts however I please. Skyfish. Do 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 do. Okay. Okay, so I would actually stand here. And I gotta forget exactly the order I did this last time. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. I think the inputs are on the inside. They come from up there. There'll be like a little crawl space for just for belts. I'm gonna be here. Or I could lower it. I can reach it though. And I can put a sign wherever. Or it could be... Oh, okay, let's do this. I'm gonna build... Let's build like six or so of these, just to get an idea. And then I'll build another group that is slightly lower. One option. Or do we like this? A little bit lower. Probably easier to do the conveyor lifts if I'm up here. Ah, uh, this is slightly wrong. Wrong. Not gonna line up. I 
hear him. Oh, we're above. We're above that now. Easy there. Okay. Option one, option two. One will be a little bit more straightforward to grab the stuff out of the containers. The other one will probably have a better view of the horizon. Okay, so there's this one. Oh, and actually, uh, probably these wouldn't be here. It would be all be walkways and whatnot anyway. It wouldn't be just these foundations, but it would be smaller. It would be like this. So I could see all of this cool stuff. Minus the foundation platform crap everywhere. Do 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 do. Okay. So, stuff. There would be like signs with the labels of what the thing's got. Pick up the thing, pick up the thing. Ah, yes. Hmm, nature. Greenery. That waterfall looks really weird. Or this one. Any higher? If I put it any higher, I think it would be too hard to grab stuff. Like here, I've got to be this close to grab anything. probably still better to not cap the especially with all these like this all this weird stuff probably don't want to smoosh the the upper horizon too much or whatever can't see the sky here I can sort of see it here Doop, 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 doop. Yeah, this one's better. I like this one. All right, there we go. Decided. Uh, F? F. Do, do. Okay, so next we just have to think about where all the belts. Maybe um, maybe I should do some of the belt routing before I decide exactly where this starts and stops. Yeah, that's what we'll do. I have at least an idea of what this will be like. Gonna make it. Gonna make it. Gonna make it. Yeah. Um, if it's gonna be like that, I might want to move it over so it's closer to this edge. Or it could be, um, it could be glass flooring, and I could be able to look down through the middle. That might be cool too. Maybe. Yeah. 
I think so. All right. Um, let's see. We've been live a bit over four hours. Let's do one more stand up and stretch break. And then we'll uh, start routing belt to the ore patches. Do 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 do. Laid out an area down here. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Lots sure you did. Ports. Okay, Ready whatever. To go. Here we go. Oh. Be back in a few minutes. Also, want to try to scout a potential spot to put an experience grinder. Here we go. Here's a little sweet jump. Woo! And yep, that's a jump. If, if you're not going fast enough there, it's game over. <laughs> the series has just ended, friend. Let's see, what time is it? Do I need to sleep in the bed or did I just do that? I just did that, right? I can't tell what time it is because we're moving. I just want to see if we can get back to where we need to go. Let's try to jump over there. Alley-oop. alley -oop Oh, I'm in the tree. Okay, what's it? Oh, that's a Spinosaurus. It's only level five, though. Okay, I'm going to try it. You're going to tag with both claws, too. Oh, you're getting wrecked. You're getting riggedy wrecked. Take that. And that. Yeah, run away. Try to run. You can't escape. <laughs> okay, that was a good test, I guess. Level 5. We know that we can take at least a low-level Spinosaurus. Um, I think we're going to go for melee damage at first. Maybe eventually some other things. You are going to be a jack of all trades. There's uh, blue crystals. I don't need blue crystals at the moment. Let's just try to get back to the base. If we can, I'm hoping I'm too high up in the air to take damage from um, random mushroom effects. We need to go up that way. Let's kill this snake. Hey, snake. The snake, I don't think the snake even is thinking we're dangerous. Or maybe we're so big it doesn't want to mess with us. Yeah, that's right, snake. Rawr. You're going to attack with both at the same time. Smash the ground. Rawr. That's right, snake. Uh, maybe I should have tried to pick that snake up. Maybe that would have made it a little bit easier. Ooh! Oh, no. Okay, I don't know if you can see that. Let me look in the spyglass. There is a wild rock drake right there. 
Those are not tameable. The only way to get one is to steal an egg from their nest. I definitely don't want to try fighting that yet. We are living it up here under the sea. Up there, what do they got? A lot of sand. We got a hot crustacean band. We are going to do a little bit of work on the base today. Man, this base is really turning out fantastic. I love just sort of floating around here and uh, entering my zen state, basically. Kind of like Luke Skywalker, but without disappearing. We've got a lot of fishies in these tanks. We're going to diversify them once we... Once I think I have all the eggs, I guess. Uh, I suppose we probably could even start making at least one of them into a biome with the, uh, the stalkers and a few of the other less um, snarly-toothed fish. Oh no! Run! Oh my god. <laughs> Goodbye, Nalvis. Goodbye, Kalitis. Goodbye to all our outposts. Oh, wait a second. Hang on, I just remembered something. Let's take a slight detour. Remember this thing? We found this thing pretty early on when we first came out here looking for Vulcanite, a buried temple with a lot of aliens on the inside, and I was a little bit too weak. They were quite a bit too strong to take care of back then, but things have changed. The shoe is on the other foot, so to speak. And I've got an alternate layout for my super suit. I am a floating lightning god. Let's see how this goes this time, aliens. Unlimited! Power! Power! Whoa! What? What happened? Oh, man. I was moving backwards. Well, that's, uh, that's Project Zomboid. Six hours later. Well, 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 look at that. It's a fully designed and built thermofluid area floating in space, connected via rail to the rest of our space base, designed in the space base platform place. I actually realized I made a pretty big mistake in the space base platform place and had to redesign most of it. They got to get all the way to there. There's going to be so many belts. We got to make them look nice. They got to be streamlined. They got to... They gotta... Oh boy. All of a sudden, I think I've lost my sense of motivation. Oh ho. Woe is me. Wait, 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 wait. Stop. Cut that out. That's not gonna cut it. We're gonna need way more than that. Galactic Omega levels of juice. Here we go. Let's go. Do it! Do it! Yeah, we can do it. Just, just do it. Do it. Do it. Yeah, we can do it. Just do it. Just do it. Just do it. Oh yeah. Do it. Just do it. Just do it. Just do it. Wow, it worked. I mean, heh. <laughs> Yeah, of course it worked. Easy game, really. Some people might call it cheese, but I consider manipulating the psychedelic properties of power slugs to be creative use of in-game mechanics. So, to summarize, the miners are mining, the belts are belting, the belts get bundled, the bundles go up to the base, the base gets the stuff, the machines make other things, the other things make other things, and all those things go up to the top, to the very tippy top, where they make the last thing, the turbo motor, finally! And those turbo motors are getting tossed right in the garbage. So I think this is actually a good time to reorganize our base and to uh, start up, I guess it's going to be kind of like 
a main bus. We're gonna have a lot of algae coming out of this thing. But we also wanna scale up our algae for here, so why not combine them? We've also got this cellulose fiber guy here. We're gonna have more over here. We need to basically strip up everything, which means that this island is going to get bigger. such a good actor yeah oh i hit the wall they call me one take beef <laughs> <laughs> uh keep running but look at me as you run by okay they call me four take beef oh crap i went towards you let me try that again i want to go back do one of these just giving you stuff to work with yeah i like it should I drop in from the ceiling or something? And then like oh, run? That's, yeah, that sounds fun. Eh? Eh? Always I like thinking. It. I like it. I'm gonna have to break this glass. That's fine. <laughs> <laughs> I love it. That was perfect. <laughs> All right. <laughs> perfect. Okay. Good. Um, that's probably good. All right. Today, we are going to the moon only with boosters. Here we go. Mongus and Tombo, are you ready? Well, if you're not, it doesn't matter. Five, four, three, two, one, go. I specifically picked little Kerbal guys. Whoa! Something happened. Uh. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. <laughs> that's, uh, that's not supposed to happen. That, that's not, that's not part of the design. Okay, guys. Okay, stage. 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 Oh, do they have parachutes? Yeah, there's parachutes. Okay. Fire your parachutes. Stage. 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 Get them parachutes going. Hurry. You're only going 24 meters per second. There's still time. Stage. Stage. Keep going. Keep going. Stage. No, 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 no. No, 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 no. Dang it. Maybe I did. I think I did. Anyway, it doesn't matter. Close enough. You get the idea. So, uh, let's give them a little test. And I want them all to follow me, but I don't want anything in my base to follow me. Okay, is anything in my base going to run over here? I hope not. This, uh, that commit. Dang it. Stupid, freaky. Is that T-Rex trying to run over here? God damn it, this command is, it has too big of a radius. Okay, everybody stay putzky. Damn it, I just moved all of these freaks. Stay put, idiot! Oh, you're so, you're so dumb. All of you are dumb. The command is, just has too big of an area. Oh, that's the wrong one. It's you. I need to hit you. But you're still dumb. Ah. Oh. Okay, uh, let's just do it manually, I guess. One at a time. You are going to go in timeout, Mr. Stupid Pants. All right, do we got Diaz, Santiago, Hernan? Who am I missing? Tomas? Sebastian? Okay, is that all of them? I think that's all of the pink elephants, other than Martinez, who's going to stay in my main enclosure. And I will probably also keep Hernandez in my main enclosure, too. He's level 199. He's the best wood gatherer I have. Besides my uh, Brontosaur. Okay, let's see. Did I get them all? Looks like it. Okay, good. I will reprimand my stupid T-Rex later. So before we put them in their enclosure, let's just uh, give a little test here. Yeah, okay, there are some Brontos over there. These guys get stuck. They, they do get stuck on terrain r rather easily. And let's see. I think equals... 
Puts them all on attack my... Oops. Puts them all on attack my target. Get him! So, if anything happens to get into our enclosure and attack us, uh, I think it's just going to get wrecked. I can't move now, though, because... Yeah, get... Yeah. Come on, guys. Okay, stop. Stop moving, dummy. I can't move because they're all overlapping. That is a little bit irritating. Okay, here's the real test, my pink elephant army. Let's take on this Bronto. Equals sign, attack my target. Equal is the short key for that whistle. By the way, I'm not just saying equal sign randomly. There's a reason. Now I can't move because I'm stuck on my stupid guy. All right, guys, just attack him. Go after him. Oh my gosh. This is a nightmare. Okay, this was a bad idea. I thought this was going to be awesome, but it's a little bit more frustrating than I think it's worth. Maybe if I was running around on foot, I could conduct them a bit better, but then I would be way more fragile and slow. Oh, come on. We need like a sheepdog to hurt these guys. Let me free. I just want to be able to move. You miss Ark. You're in luck. You can buy the exact same game again. Then you can then you can have it back. Uh. Why does this look like it doesn't line up? Because it doesn't line up. Oh, that's right. I shifted them. Like I shifted. Okay, so... Most floors. Stuff comes in the middle. I think there's a... An exception to that rule. Those are all... All the ore goes in the middle. This... Oops, is this the diff... This is the one, because they... We need space for the two. I could have had this... The op... I could have done this the opposite, and then had them all in the middle. Why didn't I do that? Time to rebuild it! Start over! Why didn't I do that? It didn't... It took up too much space, maybe? But it should take up the same amount of space. I would only have to do this stacking thing once instead of twice. And the output goes here. These need to get merged instead of ending up already being merged because they're popping out of the middle. It must not have worked exactly the same. Did it take up more space or something? Seems like it would take up the same amount of space either way. Might have to rebuild those. Okay, so those the two steel ones, the inputs enter on the outside. Save before you delete. So, yeah, because I think, oh, that's why. And then I, oh, let's re, let's rebuild it again, again. Get off your parachute. Okay, this one is in the middle. That's, that's just the roof. There's nothing up there. Middle. 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 So it's only the steel that I did differently. Hmm. 
Hmm. Let me, um... I need a few more modular frames. Let me see. I, I'm just going to do a little test build to see if... Uh, I'm not going to rebuild everything right now, but we can at least check. At least check that, um, see if I can figure out if there was a reason I did that, or if I could have just done it, uh, have all the stuff going through the middle, because if all the stuff goes through the middle, then we bundle everything, it goes right up the center, and it, it'll be more compact looking. Although, I mean, obviously, once it gets to here, I can just have it split and go down the sides and won't actually change the, the path to the floor. It would just—it would make a little bit more sense to do it the same as the other floors, because I will have to merge them again at the end the way it's currently made. Let's go. Let's put it uh, up here. Just make a little ramp. Blueprints. I haven't started. I—I I did unlock them. I haven't started using them yet. Okay, splitter. Oh, wait. Do I remember why? Did it have to do with the off kilter? No, I don't think so. All right, first one flush. We probably need to be something like that. Where's my my arrow? Oh, that's oh, because this is a that's a merger, not a splitter. That's why. Do 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 Okay, and then mergers on the outside would be There, yeah, it is the same spacing. Oh, have I played modded Minecraft? Yes, not for a very long time, though. Could even be here, but it's a bit cramped. I don't see any reason why I wouldn't do it like this. It just it makes sense to do it like that. I think I'm going to redo it. It will end up, um, I'll need like less belts in general. It'll be a little bit more organized. Do 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 do
do do do do do do do do do do do do just do it i'm gonna do it i'm gonna do it Uh, okay, so this, before I do that, um, what is this? Pipes? Pipes. Steel pipes. Do you have a specific number in mind? Uh, yeah, I do use specific numbers. So th um, for like the final base, it will be making two different things basically. And the goal is, the o or the objective anyway, is to dump those into the awesome sink to get a bunch of points, to get a bunch of tickets, to get the shiny statues to win the game. So I'm gonna build that from the top down. I want this amount of that thing, and the ingredients for that is this amount of stuff, and the ingredients to make that stuff is this amount of stuff, and all that's going to need a certain amount of power, so I'm going to need a certain amount of nuclear reactors and stuff like that. But uh, this is like a general base, which is going to build all the stuff to build that base. So... Um, I'm mostly basing these numbers around the ore patches that are nearby that I can bring the resources in. And we're... I've, I'm scaled everything based on tier 4 belts. So, basically... Um, like this... this bottom floor here. Ooh. Uh, let me, where's the iron plates? That's the most straightforward one. The uh, so um, we've got a, we've got uh, pure iron nodes over there, and with a tier three drill and tier four belt, we'll have 480 ore per minute. Here, here's iron plates. So 480 ore. You just divide it by 30. That's how many of these smelters we have. And then you take the output of how many we ended up with. That's how many ingots we end up with, which turns into plates. And that's the number of plates I have determines how much like reinforced iron plates I can build for this uh, this base. So it's it's mostly based on the local resources and the uh, the tier I expect to get to that's convenient to scale everything to. So we're, I'm, we're just going to sc scale everything by tier 4 belts. Four hundred eighty items a minute. Which uh, I haven't unlocked that yet, so we'll, we will be upgrading to that amount of throughput. Was there any recent additions to the game? Uh, update 8 is pretty new. Which added some stuff. Added these things. Power towers. Do, 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 do. Okay. Time to rebuild. Time to rebuild. Boop, 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 boop.
Whoa. What's that about? Did you just work plethora into a sentence? Congratulations. Say I have a plethora. Oh, I gotta set the recipes before I build all the belts. Steel ingot, steel ingot, steel ingot, steel ingot, steel ingot, sling, sling it. Flashlight, let's just sling it. There's a plethora of ways to use it. You sure about that? All right. Assemblers were nice because I could sort of get up on top of them. It's a little harder with the boundaries. Maybe I could maybe I could be up on the splitters. Woo! Looks good. Looks good. Looks good. I'm gonna do the other foundries too. It's easier to get into a rhythm of doing the same thing over and over. No, not 
I looked away to not hit something else. And then I hit something else. Okie doke. Oop. One left. That happened last time. Oh, there's a belt here. This way. Watching me build this crap over and over should be boring. Yeah, I agree. I don't know why any of you are watching this. I would not be watching this. I don't think I would. Maybe I would. It doesn't seem very interesting. There's like not even anything working. Not Nothing's plugged in. There's stuff plugged in over there, but we're not over there. We're over here. Doesn't make any sense. I guess it's like clickety clack construction ASMR, maybe. Okay, then we gotta reverse the constructors. Constructor. Oh, I did also didn't do the splitters on the outside or the mergers. Gotta merge the. What was this? Uh, steel ingot. Oh, I didn't do the recipe. to line up with those so maybe I should make these more cramped so they line up with that one or I just extend that one outwards a bit which I guess would work too I'm 
And that's cramped, but it's not that cramped. I can still see the belt. So I guess it's fine. Oops. Oh, this one doesn't have a merger. Shoot. Okay, so then we gotta replace eight constructors. That's the concrete right there. That's doesn't need getting fixed. Okay, constructor. Uh, oh, how many is it? That was eight. Eight, right? Okay, so they're going to be facing inwards. And... Um, one, two, three. I guess they need to be snug with this seven of space. Three. Four. I need to remember to put the coal on the more elevated track, because that needs to pass through to make uh, black powder and stuff. Unless I've got an extra... I guess it depends on how many ore nodes are, are nearby, I forget, off the top of my head. But the iron ore doesn't need to go any further, so we can go. it can be on the bottom. There's the output for... Oh, I didn't do the recipes again. Uh, I think this is... Steel... Hyper beam. Beam. Steel beam. 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 Light bulbs. Love not getting notifications. Yeah, not my not my responsibility. Uh, this needs to be splitters. I personally hate notifications. I have notifications turned off for literally everything. 
ever. Except maybe like. Uh, what's the exception? Text messages on my phone, I suppose. Maybe. Yeah, I know you're blaming Twitch. I know you're not blaming me. Twitch gone Twitch. Okay, that one's rebuilt. Steel pipes. Steel pipes. We choose to make steel pipes. We choose to rebuild steel pipes. Alright, then we... Oh no, that was... Sorry, that's not steel pipes. Steel beams. Now we gotta do steel pipes. down at the first one doesn't need it This one's bigger. This is the steel bipo. This needs one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, sixteen. Sixteen total. You would have accidentally deconstructed. I uh, I do that sometimes. I do screw up, but I try to like find the perspective where I'm. The background is just open air because I have done that many times. Construct things I don't want to deconstruct.
All right, 16. Uh, let's see, this is... that's the output. Goes this way. Then it turns into splitters. Steel ingots. Last one, no splitter. side and it's it's been rebuilt Okay. Check mark. Check mark. I, I read check mark because I had to rebuild it. for another few minutes. What is... Oh, that's right. I gotta get rid of this. This is the little, uh, little test. Looking at the other screen, trying to unpause the video. Doot, 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 doot. Green. 
Sunrise is green. Ote. Um, okay. Do I save? I guess. Whatever. So now we need the belts that are routed, all the ore. The ore and the basic raw materials. Why does my shadow look headless? I don't know. It's weird. Because we, we live in an, uh, a simulation. Everything's an illusion. What's missing? Well, we've got to connect all the... The ore patches to this end of the base where all the smelting is. That's next. And then we got to connect all the individual blocks to each other. And route all those belts up to the storage area. And then I can rebuild the awesome sink. Start sinking uh, like AI limiters are, I think, pretty good at this stage. Or really, I could just sink everything if I wanted. The motors. The AI limiters. The modular frames, all that stuff. We'll have to expand the coal power a bit more, I'm sure. And, uh... I gotta hook up... N none of it's... Uh, I haven't done any power poles, anything. Okay, so we've got... Five different iron processes. There's five. Yeah, there's five. I'm just gonna. I don't know if they'll be like this, but I'm gonna do that for now. Um, we've got five pure nodes of iron. There's two steel, and then there's iron plates, iron rods, and screws. Those all get a belt. Then we'll need two coal up there. I'm just thinking, like, left to right, the order to put them in. Not necessarily they'll be stacked like that. Uh, so that takes... Oh, plus limestone. Limestone is there. Limestone, we got two pure lines. So, bloop and a bloop. Limestone is there. Okay, so that takes care of uh, the right side of all that. Then that one. The bottom is copper. Two pure nodes. You know what? Let me, um... Just so I don't get confused later. Is it possible to filter out containers from pin containers like um sort of but it's not very straightforward Whoa, what was that on oh, my head what is that it's like blipping in and out Occasionally. The blip. 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 Space elevator. But that's behind me. 
What's over there? That's weird. Okay, we got two nodes of copper. They're gonna get split between... I think the wire and the cable get split. Yeah. The wire and the cable gets uh, one node, and the sheets gets another. Sheets there. So that'll get... Those two will get split. Then we've got Caterium and Quartz. Directly above it. We're only really going to be using one Caterium node. And... I guess, technically, we're only really going to need the one Quartz node for this early game stuff. Is that everything? What am I forgetting? Sulfur? Sulfur. We need Sulfur. This one. Oops. Okay, we see, yeah, we need sulfur. The sulfur ends up way down there. So I guess uh, we do have how much sulfur is nearby. We've got one normal, one impure. Okay, but that can, those can both be combined onto one belt. There. Is this, is that sulfur? Sulfur. Okay, so that needs to go, like, down to the assemblers. Do 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 do. So if I do it in that order, nothing needs to crisscross. Coal needs to pass through, but nothing else does. Sulfur needs to bypass all this stuff to the assembly area. Right? Mm -hmm -hmm. Uh, let's see. Iron, copper, limestone, coal. Uh, oil is not on a belt. We don't have oil yet. Caterium. Quartz, sulfur, bauxite is later, nitrogen later. Yeah, I guess that's it. Okay. One, two, three, four, five. Fourteen belts. I can stack them like that, or I could stack them slightly differently, but I guess that works. Although they need... Oh, they need to be... Here, or one further over, or here. I think I'll route them here. That'll just be a guide. Then, then I don't have to deconstruct that. How about that? How about that? Do 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 do. We keep to this grid. Go all the way over here. Okay, coal, limestone, and sulfur needs to be on the outside. The coal. There's one way down here. And then there's extra. Oh, there's, um, I think there's several over here. I'm not, I'm not, we're not gonna worry about these just right away. We'll have to route those over eventually. So we'll just rely on this one for now. This is a one normal. These are, there's, I think there's like no, this is pure. There's one pure and there's, I think, four normal ones over here. Okay, and then the sulfur is down, down here by the water. So that needs to be on the inside of the iron. If I stick to the grid, it would sort of go through here. 
Or they could come over the top of that rock and go straight. Do 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 do. The copper is right there and right uh, there. Those two, those are the coppers. I guess they're gonna have to go under. That's no big deal. Or over, or both. Whoops, I fell. Are you only going to use belts? Yeah, for this phase, yeah, because everything's close by. You mean as opposed to like trucks or something? Yeah, just belts. That's why we're building here, because everything's close by. Relatively speaking. Uh, iron could come through here. All the iron is three right there, one right, right here. Or it's got to wrap around a corner, which I guess. They're all right here. I guess that's fine. This will eventually all go away. It's, it will be a little bit messy until it does, though. Oh, this is not quite on the right level, if I want them to line up like that. Whoa! I don't, I don't think we're going to use trucks for anything for this entire build. But we'll make extensive use of trains eventually. Probably won't... I, I don't think I'll use trucks for anything. But I suppose that could always change, who knows. And I haven't used trains in this game since they added signals and collision and stuff, so that'll take some experimentation once we get to that point. I have to learn how they work in this game. One drill there. We're not even making use of it. I guess we can clean this up a bit because we do, I got, got rid of the biofuel generators. So I can clear a little bit of space. That goes off in that direction. Okay, so I gotta reconnect this. Well, in, in that base, um, I had three main areas. One was making heat sinks. Second was making, what, what was it, radio control units back then? And those were getting delivered to the last place to make the turbo motors. So I really didn't need that many trains. This one 
will be quite a bit different because we'll be shipping ore and oil and nitrogen and stuff in large quantities. We're going to need a lot of trains. I didn't really have to worry about... Even if there was collision, I wouldn't have, have had to worry too much about train collision signaling and stuff just because there weren't that many trains. There was like 12 trains in the whole network. need I need the beams I guess I could just make mark ones until we have this next area up and we automate the industrial beams Swoop. Let's go. Let's go up there. Gear solid. Is there zip lines in Metal Gear Solid? Snake, but a leap, a leap, but a leap, but a leap, but a leap, but a leap. Snake, but a leap, but a leap. Oh, the infinite ladder. Oh. Do, 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 do. So one option is to just zigzag, blah, blah, or the other one to go directly over the top of there. It's going to zigzag either way, right? So may as well keep it at this one level instead of going up and down. Uh, we're going to have to, like, put some splitters in so I can continue to make stuff until this next area comes online. Or I could just... No, yeah, we'll do it that way. Okay, so we got these guys. That's the middle strip. And then we need, um, on the right, needs the limestone. Which is, there's two of them. One's right there. Needs to go on the other side. The other one is... Over there. Fish! has called a big one. Tweet, tweet, tweet. Oh, I can't phase through the walls, even though he can. But, no, 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 it's fine, it's fine. When did this thing get collision? Always had collision. It doesn't have collision if you're in a vehicle. Because it will fa it phases through the base. Like, if you build a base, it'll phase through anything you build. Which includes vehicles. If you're in the vehicle, it phases through you. Or you phase through it. Or both. Both. Whatever. You can pet it? No. You can't 
It's impossible. It doesn't exist. This guy, uh, you can really see the polygons, right? It's kind of weird. What no? I'm not ready to dismount fish. Okay, now I'm ready. Adios, fish. You know, I haven't really noticed much lag when we're over there up in the air with just buildings, but now that I'm amongst all the foliage, it's pretty bad. I think I still have the foliage. Yeah, the foliage quality is set to low. But even then, it still causes a lot of lag with the up Unreal Engine 5 current state of the game. Meow, meow. Do do. Okay, 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 okay. Oh my god, this wow, it's really bad. Forgot how bad this was. Haven't been over in a while. Ah, give me a headache. Okay, four belts of iron. Oh no, wait, there's a fifth one. At least that's what my notes say. Is that one over there pure? Oh. Okay, that's the fifth one. Alright. So, the, yeah, there's five. I'll worry about that one later. Okay, so this coal fella, or I mean copper fella, needs to be on the bottom. This, let me connect this belt all the way over to the copper side. I guess we gotta delete these ramps. I'll put a ladder in or something, I suppose. More compact. All right. One belt needs to get split and go up, down, and I guess the other one goes here. Those are gonna be on the outside. Bottom two on the outside. So, there. Do, 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 do. And there's going to be, above it, uh, one belt of Caterium and one belt of Quartz. Whoop, zip up. Those will both just go straight up. No big deal. Easy peasy. We will have already, all the other belts, the other two columns, will end up here. So we'll only have this column left. Hey, Timmy. You're guessing it's the lighting? The foliage quality makes the lighting easier? Yeah, yeah it could be. I just know, adjusting, uh, like, the single greatest improvement I got when I started trying to find settings that work in update 8 is uh, dropping the foliage quality. Helped a lot, like more than shadows. Typically shadows is the first thing to go, but uh, foliage quality was the the big culprit. So basically, I need a, I need a bit of splitter. And it needs to split to go up to there and down to there. 
which um, is a little bit inconvenient when they're in a stack like that. Do, 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 do. Okay, so this one doesn't get split. That's the sheets, right? Sheets. Sheet. I guess what I could do is have this one turn here into a splitter. So the splitter would be like uh, here. I can have one go up, one go down. But, oh no, it's got to be the one above it. Because then um, I need the one beneath it to be able to drop to here. So it needs to be that one. Which means we got to lift this up like that. Does that work? Uh, one more. Oh, I remember this being kind of weird to try to do. Does this work? Is that flat? Yes. One of those stackers is half, not a quarter. Okay, so then this can go up there to that floor right there. And then I need one to go down further. So this this guy needs to go there. Do, do, do. I gotta start this one at the top. Unless it's connecting like this. That's going to bump into the splitter. This is not going to be... Yeah, that's too low. Alright. So I guess it's got to be like that. So it needs to start here. So we need a belt stub. That's right. Doesn't the elevator make a 90 degree turn or am I tripping? Elevator? What elevator? The conveyor lift? Which conveyor lift? Do, 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 do. That goes there. Alright, then one of these goes. Like this. Like that. And the other one goes... Down, down. Burp, 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 burp. Oh, and I'm going to way back up there because I had to get rid of those ramps. I guess I can... Never mind, I can just jump. I can just jump. Alright, so I guess that sort of solves that. Belts are still going straight. Okay, so that's two copper belts. 
Uh, then I need the quartz and deuterium to go up to the... N That's the roof. There's nothing up there. Quartz and deuterium for the next floor. And then that's it for here. So I guess quartz first. Or, I mean, deuterium first. There. Boop, boop, boop. You gotta start building one direction. Oh, you know what? I can build down. I can build down if I have a belt stub up there. right do 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 okay then uh, uh, uh. Uh, uh, uh. there will be another belt the uh quartz The quartz needs to turn here, so I need like uh, one of these things. Whoa! Oh, saved. It does, it's just the wrong height. Still the wrong height. Okay, and that goes over top, all the way down there. Or, oh, do I want it a little higher, though? Because it's going, if I do it like this, it's going to be um, clipping into the splitters, right? Yeah, especially once we upgrade the belts when they get bigger. All right, so it'll be um, a little bit taller. Looks like one of the yeah maybe it maybe I should, I should go check see if I screwed it up or not. I might have screwed it up. Oh yeah, yeah. Now that you mention it, it does look screwy. It's hard to tell without climbing up and down every single time. Still wrong. Okay, I'm gonna climb down. Is that right? Okay, that's great. Whoa, 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 whoa. Easy there. Okay, now I guess we'll do the same thing. Just climb down. It's not that hard. All right. 
Ok. Alright, so I want this one to stretch as far as possible. Should be able to get rid of that. These uh these lifts. References. And I can rebuild this so it sockets in there properly. There we are, and then get rid of that. I forget how many tiles a belt can go. It's like five or six. One, two, three, four. Let's try here. Six. I guess that's far enough because it needs to go here and then split. Do 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 One of them needs to go whoops, right. Surprise parachute. One of them needs to go straight. Down to that one. Oh no wait. No they don't. What am I thinking? I can just pass it straight through. It's only one belt. Not gonna be as many as. It's not gonna need more than one tier four belt. Yeah, so I just um, build it to here and then drop it. Like it's hot. Drop it like it's hot. This is the out, but this this guy's gotta go out this way. So I just need to make sure we have room for that. Is he going to go all... No, he'll probably go on the outer side. Yeah, he's going to go this way. Take a left. Let's see if that works. Actually, you know what? I'll just do it this way. Just like that. Simpler. Except it's not the right... Is that the right height? Oh, it is the right height. Perfect. Like I planned it. I totally did. Then we just go like that, because they're both using the same belt of quats. Oh, wait. But... These ones are different. They've got the output coming from the outsides. Because it's only... There's no smelting. It's only one step. But wait. There's more. Okay, so this has got to go over here. And it's got to merge with this one, I suppose. And go off the side. So either I lift it up above this one. Yeah, I guess I guess that's the simplest thing to do. I've listened to this whole playlist twice now. Ran out of a playlist. If I did rebuild them so that the one merged output, what would I have to do? I would have to rebuild them so that they're merging instead of splitting. The one output is here, and it turns left to go out there, just like this guy. Those get bundled and go off to other parts of the base. At which point, I'd have to split the quartz here to the sides. And run it down the sides. Hmm, I might do that. It would make it look a little less messy. I would have to split it here, but that's it. Because then it can also it can just pass through down both sides. Because we're making quartz crystals and silica. Boop. 
Boop, 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 boop. Um, it wouldn't bother this one. We either have to... You know what? I could keep... I could keep them at this height. And just belt lift the the quartz down into the machines like this. And then I won't have to change the height of the output. You can just go here. Because the quartz crystals will be up above it. Oh, yeah, maybe I'll do that. You would suggest a fifth white bass playlist. I listened to the same one twice. It's but it's the horror one, which is more mellow than the other stuff. But there's there's 82 videos in it, but they're all super short, like two minutes each. All right, yeah, I'm gonna rebuild this. I'm gonna rebuild it. Not right now, but I'm gonna rebuild it to make it uh, a little bit more streamlined. Not right now. I might be able to improve this a little bit, but I guess it's all right for right this second. Okay, the next thing to do, I want as few segments as possible. So we need to trace this kind of backwards. Maybe I would... We want them all to, like, sort of link up. Do, 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 do. So there's going to be a bunch of them here. All the iron is going to go up and down. We don't have to split the iron, so that'll be a little bit more straightforward than having to put the splitter there. Oh, you know what I could do? Hang on. Mm. Instead of having this splitter here, which is... It is a little bit awkward. I could split way back there. And just bring it in on two different belts. I could use tier 3 belts to, instead of tier 4 belts. That would get rid of this awkward splitter here. And then I would have an extra copper belt. And then we would have an even... Look at this. We would have an even 15 belts. It would be a rectangle instead of a weird rhombus or whatever that is. Yeah. Yeah. It's just that easy. Then we can get rid of this, because I, I didn't like this. It looks super ugly. Okay, so we got that. Then we've got the iron going up and down. Here. All those. Two belts of coal going up. And then what else is there? Sulfur. And two belts of limestone. The limestone is up there. All right, you know what? This is, this is a really tedious, fiddly, boring stuff. Like, even more boring than the stuff I was doing before. So, I'm not going to do it right now. That's right. It's time to end the stream. Stream's over. Hope you had fun with the conveyor belt ASMR, I guess. Uh, next time, probably be Monday. I don't... My throat feels fine. If my if my throat feels a bit rough, we might uh, do go Tuesday. But let's say Monday. Tentatively Monday. And that's it. See you later. Bye-bye. Stuff like that.